The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has declared that President Muhammad Buhari is not welcome to the Southeast. IPOB Director of Socials, Chika Edozim, made a remark while ordering a seat at home in protest of Buhari's visit to Imo State on Thursday. Edozim, who is one of IPOB's executives, disclosed this during a broadcast on Monday evening. According to Edozim, Nigerian's president is not welcome in Imo State. Biafra land on Thursday, September 9th, 2021. All the traditional rulers, all in the Iche, and every Biafran should stay away from any ceremony organized by Hope Uzodima to welcome him. Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State had disclosed Buhari's plans to visit the state. Uzodima had said Buhari will commission significant projects while in the state. A couple of days ago, Hope Ozodima stated that um, President Mohamed Buhari was coming, and this is in reaction to that. I probably are just stating right now that um, Buhari is not welcome in Imo State. He's not welcome at all. Even Imo State Governor, he's the Supreme Court Governor. We know um, how um, the people of Imo State, the indigenous of the state, how they even perceive him. Someone who moved. Uh, who keeps saying that uh, um, the All Progressive Congress um, has done so much for the country that Buhari, that, you know, the way he put it was like, um, critics should leave Buhari alone. Buhari's critics should leave him alone that he's busy working for the country. Only hope Ozodima can see what Buhari is doing. Buhari is not doing anything. Buhari has caused a lot of pain in the country, a lot of pain. The insecurity is at the rooftop and all because of Buhari's, uh, um, silence all because of his inactions he's not ready to deal decisively with this issue and we know the main issue fulani headsmen they are the number one problem in our different communities southern governors rose up from a meeting let's put a ban on this the activities of um, headsmen that would douse detention that will make our communities more safe because residents have complained have cried has raised a lot of concerns that these are the people carrying out these attacks they parade themselves as headsmen, but um, they have weapons. They go about with weapons, uh, uh, kidnapping, committing all sorts. And the forest, that is where they use as their hideout and also collecting ransoms. But President Mohamed Buhari's government does not see anything wrong and he's been covering up for them. This is the same uh, uh, government that Hope Pozodima is praising. So the people of Imo State, they've uh, long ago distanced themselves even from uh, Hope Pozodima's um, government. You know, that's why he's referred to as... Um, Supreme Court governor. So Hope Ozodima uh, announced a couple of days ago that he was going to be receiving President Muhammad Buhari in the state on the 9th of September, which happens to be on Thursday. Now, um, IPOB members have reacted that uh, <laughs> Buhari is not welcome. He's not welcome. And they've, they've ordered a seat at home on that particular day. Uh, so that um, nobody would troop out. Let Buhari not think that um, they are praising him or he's um, re really giving him a warm welcome. Nobody's giving him a warm welcome because it's causing too much pain. Remember how he, he ordered the army to kill IPOB members, to kill ESN members. Even Hope Ozodima did not deny it. It wasn't an allegation against him. He said it himself that he ordered the military. Can you imagine? You order the military to come and kill your own people. Then now you are telling them that uh, Buhari is coming. This same Buhari that you called to send military to come and kill your people. Now you are telling these same people that Buhari is coming. Please come and welcome him for me. People should come around. Let's come and dance. Let's celebrate. Celebrate what? What are they celebrating? The um, the IPOP director of socials, Chika Edozim, he made a remark while ordering a seat at home in protest of Buhari's visit to Imo State that this particular state in the southeast, President Mohamed Buhari is not welcome. And if uh, they are instructing all their members not to come out, they should stay away from any ceremony organized. Any ceremony that is organized by Hope Ozodima to welcome him, they should stay away. Buhari is going to have the, the taste. He will see how it is. When you don't uh, um, have compassion for your people, you don't um, serve the people, then when you come around, you want them to be dancing and running to you. They will not run to you. You see children, when children run to um, grown-ups, elderly ones, they know that uh, these people look after them. So when they see them, they open their arms, they run to them and then for embrace. But you can't expect the people to run to you when you've caused so much pain. A lot of families have been thrown into mourning. A lot of families, see show were raised in serious mourning. 
His, his younger brother was killed by this same Fulani headsman that Buhari is covering. This same Fulani headsman. And you know, Imo State Governor, he's been playing with this ban on uh, open grazing. The same this Hopo Zadima that stated that there is nothing like anti-grazing in his state. He was not part of the meeting. He did not attend. He did not send any um, delegate, um, deputy, anything. He didn't turn up. But he was so bold enough to sit on live television to state that there's nothing like anti-grazing well the uh, nigerians are not even surprised because from day one they've known his position that because um it's the supreme court that gave him that post so he would always be buhari's loyalist he will be uh at the back and call of president muhammad buhari so as not to fall from that seat see the situation he's put himself the people of Imo State did not vote for him it was emeka Hedio had actually won that governorship election but they did manipulations, press buttons, and all that. That was her image. Up till now, you know, the Philip who made this suit versus Hope Zodima has not seen the light of the day. That suit, they were meant to sit in January. They didn't sit. There was no future date. There was no communication whatsoever why the sitting did not hold or um, whatever the future plans are. Uh, um, speculations are going around that Hope Zodima is very, very uh, co uh, uh, connected with that happening. Because he doesn't, there is no explanation the Supreme Court want, uh, has. Philip Umedi is praying the Supreme Court to just explain how Ozodima, the same APC you disqualified, how you now declare this same person governor. Supreme Court went mute and the sitting has not held. This is the same governor who is now calling on uh, the people of um, Imo State that come out, come and celebrate with Buhari. The same Buhari that locked the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. How is Hope Ozodima is even thinking? He thinks these people will come out. See the sort of oppression he's using on uh, uh, Nam De Kano. Intimidation, harassment, everything. How they extradited him from Kenya unlawfully. Very unlawfully because due process was not followed. Due process was not followed. They, they sneaked him. They quickly, quickly um, brought him um, into the country and they've locked him. And we can see the sort of treatment they've been giving him. Today, they, they refused his lawyer from the U.S. to see him. They gave very flimsy excuse that um, the person who is in charge, who is meant to coordinate or whatever, whatever, is not around. The same thing that happened on Thursday and they said come back on Monday. They came back and the same thing played out. So this uh, uh, this visit that Buhari is going for, he should be well prepared. The people of Imo State will serve it to him just as uh, uh, he wants it. It's the way he wants it. The same man that, that gives the people of the East hate speech. He was the one that was speaking against Biafrans. Now Opo Zodima is calling them to come out. Well, an instruction has just gone out that um, they, they should all sit at home. Nobody should go for their ceremony. Let's hear your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.